Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Egyptians and the Packers, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kick off in what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champions taking on the NFC champions, the Green Bay Packers. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Here we go. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal go, sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. 11 yards there, first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, it will get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Burrow. Finding Nixon here again on back-to-back -back plays. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Given back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. Play action. It's Burrow. Quick hitter here. It's complete. He's got room at the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Out of his hands quickly to Higgins. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Quarterbacks love slam routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five about the four. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Oh, they go with a tight end carry. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. Defensively, they rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven-yard pickup back on first. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That one. And he fires one that's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10, 5, and into the end zone. It's a pick six. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better 
that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Throwing now, Burrow on first down, dancing to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll Here fall go. incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. Wide open receiver complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 44-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Mixon with a first down carry. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now it's Burrow. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. And he still doesn't have a catch. We're into the second half. I think some of it was a surprise to me, but that was one he should have caught. Actually, that was his best opportunity right there. He dropped it. On second and ten, Burrow. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And a... After an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. Hey, you gotta go score. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. They go play action with Burrow. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A first down there on a pick up of 25. Here we go. It's Mixon on the counter. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Once again, they run with Mixon. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And they go play action now. Burrow. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Packers will take over here. And So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Burrow on play action. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he's brought down, but not before. A really nice stiff arm to create a little space. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. Burrow going to fake to Mixon and now look to throw. He'll buy some time right. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket, only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Now it's Burrow. Firing quickly here, and that's 
complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Second and six. No, oh, scratch that. Second and seven. Now Burrow. Sliding out of the pocket. Touchdown! A 15-yard touchdown. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at as they'll quickly head back onto the field. On first and 10, Joe Burrow. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 32 that time. Well, this is where an offense needs to show what it's made of, and in fact, where a quarterback needs to show what he's made of, trying to engineer a fourth-quarter comeback, and he hits a big one right there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. That's going to leave him with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Rolling to his right. The 20! And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter. for a reaction drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Another try for Mixon. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Burrow. And it's caught. Touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown for and the Egyptians have regained the lead in the second half of the Super Bowl. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the like he'll throw here. They'll roll him out right. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now it's Burrow. To mix it on the check down. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, 
we take a break. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here we go with Burrow. He'll buy some time right. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Second and six from the 10. From the gun again to Mixon. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with 10 seconds remaining. They'll give it to Mixon.